Fraser Arena complex is still in the planning and designing phase and will cost in the millions to build and so there's a push to find money to help cover the cost. We hope to be moving into other phases in the not too distant future. In fact, tomorrow I'm uh, going to appear before uh, um, Ontario Legislature Budget Committee uh, to talk about infrastructure funding for social and recreation complexes and how important it is that they include that in the upcoming 2018 budget. So we're still pressing on our end to get the funding we need to get things built. Uh, in the meantime, we've got a great old arena that's full of a lot of history. Uh, it's a 70-year-old building, so it's pretty unique in terms of the age of arenas in Ontario. And there's some great points about it, uh, and I think you get a really unique feel when you come into it. Uh, but there's some not so great points about it, and the change rooms and uh, some of the public areas could be a lot better. So we want to address that with the new facility, but in the meantime, uh, you know, have as much fun in the old one as we can. And to help with the cost of building a new arena, Recently, some Bracebridge residents nominated the Bracebridge Arena in the Craft Hockeyville competition, in which has a grand prize of $250,000 for arena upgrades. Mayor Graham Smith says it's great to see the community get involved and help support a much-needed complex. We certainly have a ton of hockey spirit in this community uh, and a lot of great teams uh, and a lot of history. Uh, so I think it would be entirely appropriate. And that money you know, could be used to um, you know, further the, the, the lifespan of the existing arena or maybe, and, and I'm not 100% sure on how the program works, invested in the new one too. So around April, Mayor Graham Smith says he hopes to hear what kind of funding from the federal and provincial governments might be available for the infrastructure projects. Hopefully uh, those programs that have been often talked about but not executed yet are going to drop uh, and we'll see funding available for these types of projects. And if so, I think we'll be first in line uh, looking to get funding. For more information, you can visit bracebridge.ca or to find out more about the Craft Hockeyville competition, you can visit crafthockeyville.ca. In Bracebridge, I'm Samantha Johnson for Coach Co News.